Hello guys, welcome you all. So first we will create a new project. So here let's create a new project. Select this empty activity and this next button. So here we can name the application. I will name it image vista. And then this minimum SDK we are gonna use 21. And in our project we are going to use this Kotlin DSL for the Gradle build because it's a recommended one. So when you press this finish button, a new project will be created. You will get some code with the new project. First we have this main activity. So this is the class from where it, it starts reading the code. So let's delete this code which came from the with the new project and this part also. So here we can see we have this image vista theme composable function. So let's press control B. So it will navigate us to the source code. So here we can see we have this image vista theme composable function. So this composable function is in this theme file which have come with the new project. So here we have this dark theme boolean value. So here we are checking with this function is our phone is in dark mode or in light mode. If our phone is in dark mode, then we are going to use this dark color scheme. Else we are going to use this light color scheme. So let's press control B. So here these are the colors which will be used for the dark color scheme. And these are the colors for the light color scheme. And we are providing the colors from this colors file. Here we can see we have these colors. And next when we go to our theme function. So here we are providing our color scheme and then we are providing this typography. So let's press control B. So here we have this type file and in this type file we can provide our custom typography like what font we are going to use for our application and what font size for different styling. But in our project we are going to use the default typography which is provided by the material 3 library. So let's close this file. But the color scheme we are going to use our custom. So let's create our custom color scheme. So here let's type the material theme builder. So here we have this first link. So here first we need to specify the source color. So let's press this source color. And here we are going to use blue color. So I have this code. Let's press apply. And this color we are going to use. And the secondary color. I have this code. This one. So once you provide this primary and secondary color. Let's press this pick your font button. And we are going to use the system default fonts. But if you want some other fonts than the system default, then you can choose any one font among these. So let's close this and let's press this export theme. And here export it to the jetpack compose theme.kt file. Here it will give us this zip file of theme. So what we should do, let's delete these two files and we will paste these two files from the zip file which we downloaded. Now let's paste those two files here. So we have this color file and let's change the package to our package. So here we have these our custom color values. Next, let's go to our theme file. First thing, let's change our package name. First we have this light color scheme and this dark color scheme and these we can delete because they are not using. And these are giving errors. I think this is because we need to change the version of our material 3. But let's delete these values and these also. Next thing, let's change 
our theme name so here we will name the function this and also this part we can delete because now the status bar color can be provided with the help of this h2h function so we don't need to provide those code and this app typography let's choose our this function now we can see everything looks good and let's also optimize our imports let's close this file and colors we are using these colors so we can remove the extra ones so here we have these colors and typography we are going to use default one from the material 3 library now let's talk about adding dependency to our project so what exactly are dependencies dependencies are external libraries or modules that bring in pre built functionality making our development process faster and easier dependencies allow us to reuse code that has already been written and tested by others this means we don't need to create everything from scratch for common tasks like networking image loading or data storage so for all these common tasks we are going to use different external libraries so to providing dependencies we have two files this module level build dot gradle and this project level build dot gradle so here we can see we are using this version catalog for managing the versions so this version catalog file here we can see this lips.version.toml when you create the new project with the latest android studio this versioning file you will get by default but if you have older version of android studio then when you create then you don't get this version catalog file by default but it is very simple you can go to this project level directory and then you will have this gradle package here you can just create a new file with the same name libs.version.toml so once you create a new file you need to create three blocks for versions for libraries and for plugins so here we can see these are the dependencies which have come with the new project but apart from these we are also going to use some other libraries so for that let's go to this here let's go back to our android directory and here in this module level gradle file we will paste some more dependencies so these are the libraries we are going to use in our project these are for the compose for navigation and this coil and these are for the room database and this is for the splash screen and this is for the blurring effect and this one for the paging and kotlin serialization and then this retrofit for api call so now let's see how we can change these dependencies to the newer way so when you hover your mouse to the dependencies you can see there is a option we can change this simple versioning to the to using the version catalog so here we just need to press this alt enter and let's replace with new library declaration so this is just quite simple let's just use alt enter for all these so here again let's press this alt enter and when you go to this library dot version so these are adding we can see here so here again let's just press alt enter for all these
so here we have this so next let's remove these values next let's go to our versioning file and here let's update our versions next thing we will provide our plugins so here we have this project level build dot cradle so here we will provide three more plugins so here we will use these three plugins so again we need to provide like this so for that let's go back to our versioning file and make a copy of this and change the name it to dagger hilt ksp and next one is for kotlin serialization so we also need to change this id so let's copy this and paste it here and we also need to provide the version so here we will provide the dagger version or let's just use this hilt android versions and next we need to provide the ksp version so let's use this ksp value and after this k and this version also need to be aligned with the kotlin version and this kotlin serialization version will be same as the kotlin version so next thing we need to reference these three values here in our plugin block and let's also copy these three plugin ids and go to our module level file and add these here also now let's sync so it is giving error for the ksp so but we already have provided the ksp here so what we can do first let's just comment out these dependencies now first let's sing these three so now it has been synced and we can see it has now recognized these three plugins also so let's just uncomment these dependencies let's sync it again so i looked into this so this was just a silly mistake like when i pasted these plugins in my module level gradle file so here i also pasted this apply false but we need to use these plugins here so we just need to provide the true value or we can just remove this part now the gradle file should be synced so let's try again now it has been synced successfully one more thing we need to update is now we don't need to provide these compose compiler version so let's remove this block and after this android block let's add this compose compiler block and one more thing we also need to do here also let's add plugin here this let's also go to our module level file and again let's copy here also and in our version file we need to add the compose compiler plugin versions so we will use this kotlin version 
and one more thing we also need to do here let's go to this project directory and here we have this git ignore file so here let's add one more dot kotlin so this kotlin 2.0 use the k2 compiler and that compiler generates this dot kotlin file so here we have specified that so this file should not go to the github repository so let's close this and sync our project again so here it has been synced successfully one thing let's do is let's build our project also so we can make sure that everything is working fine So our Gradle build has been finished successfully. Let's change this to Android directory and let's also close this. So that's all for this video and from the next video we will start writing the code. So if you found the videos helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.